Kaliak Manis drops the pass, and he's looking deep down the field and has a man, and that pass is caught. It's Daniel Jackson who broke free down the sideline for a pickup of 33. As you said, clearly the best on the outside for Minnesota. Kaliak Manis, play action, another completion. Heading towards the end zone is his big tight end in span four. Minnesota strikes first. To see if they can tire out this Minnesota defensive front. Card. Pressure from behind, and Card goes down. Never saw him coming. It's Strigo, Danny Strigo. Five sacks leads the team, and Strigo now has six. Bring Sawinski in motion and hand the football off. This is Tracy who has some speed. Now Tracy gains that edge, cuts it back up inside, and down to the 20 goes Tyrone Tracy. Maccabee checks into the game at running back. Card. Pump fake to the left. Now looking straight <laughs> down the middle of the defense and throws a touchdown. A day for the tight end so far. It's Garrett Miller. As they need to be over the course of this season. Kelly okay, Manis. Another completion. Big tight end. Another grab for Brevin Span Ford. He runs into Sanusi Keynes. After a 38 yard field goal attempt. 18 of 21 on the year, and he is right down the middle. First and 10. Carr has time. Carr looking toward the end zone, and this is caught for the touchdown. What a grab it was. T.J. Sheffield with a terrific route, and a penalty marker is down. And a pressure look there, as you saw Kane, who was showing pressure. And now they're going to hand the football up straight up the middle, and a lane opens up, and a push right there at the back end of it. How about that run play by Minnesota? <laughs> I got a good guess what this play call might be. Oh, yeah. Kaliak Manis said, you want to take that half yard away? Take this. And cut into this Purdue lead. and make it a one-point game, and he's able to. They're banged up. These guys are responding. Couple of running backs in the game, and this is Tracy who bursts into the secondary out across the 40. He will take it, so. These guys block back. I'm going to kick out. You go north and south. Real nice job by the Boilermakers. Picked up of 17. Now right after it, cold down the field. And that is caught now inside the 10. What a play it was by Tyrone Tracy getting behind the defense. <laughs> the football. Tracy in for the touchdown. Wow. Straight down the field goes Purdue. It's always an adventure in the Big Ten West. <laughs> Speaking of an adventure, interesting little play here on the kickoff, and it's going to be stopped right there inside the 20. Critical for him to carry it through 60 minutes. Kaliak Manis looking deep, and his wide receiver has a step, and that is caught inside the 25-yard line goes Chris Ottman Bell. They're making some time with plays with their feet throughout this game. Maccabee, Maccabee gets the ball. Maccabee with the lane. Now Maccabee uh -oh. bursting down the sideline. It's a sprint to the end zone. Can Maccabee get there? And he is dragged down at just about the one. They're going to say he's just short. Card keeping himself. Touchdown, Purdue. Span forward across the formation. Eighth and Kaliak Manis. Completion. It's Daniel Jackson. This time they will connect, and inside the 30 he goes. Kaliak Manis scanning toward the end zone. He will fire, and that football is caught for the touchdown. Incredible. Chris Ottman Bell through the contact of Derek Rogers comes down with it. New dorm on campus. Hand off. Maccabee. They call him crazy legs, but crazy legs can run. Maccabee out across midfield. Hard guy to tackle. Tyler Newman had to run him down. Got him out of the state of Texas. And here he is. Now Card. Nice move. Got him. Card looking downfield. Card. A touchdown. That's why you go get him. Deion Burks was behind the defense. Third and six. They wanted to keep their quarterback and card loose, and he has been loose for the entirety of this afternoon as he now runs for a first down. 
241 yards rushing up to this point. Oh, been impressive. Quick strike. This is impressive. Dion Burks on a slant. It's one of their favorite routes to throw to Burks. And Mockaby now nine rushes for 124 yards. Call. Clean drop. Plenty of time. Now steps up in that pocket. Has a completion. Has that first down. Down to the 20. So that is what he is so good at navigating that pocket as the third quarter on the ground. Two eight carries, 44, and a touchdown rushing. Card scanning. Card wow. somehow gets away. Now Card is still on his feet. Has a completion. Has a first down. Incredible play. It's Garrett Miller who was banged up. Came back into the game, and I have no clue how Card. Flip the football out. Mockaby. Mockaby with a lane. Mockaby with a touchdown. He's been unstoppable. Ball out heat. Diet Manis steps up into that throw wow. down the field and it wow. is caught. Who else would it be? Daniel Jackson, their best wide receiver. Now the Brazil. Brazil again. He did his face. Kaliak Manis trying to retreat <laughs> and down he goes. It's Nick Scorton. And Kessich at least gives Minnesota points. It's been like the team's been having a terrific year, even though they are two and seven, and we're seeing some of the rewards of that work. And this is dropped. Now was trying to get back on top of it is Tracy. Hand it off. Here goes Tracy with the lane. Now oh, he's opening up down the sideline. We need some of those, don't we? Yeah, absolutely we do. Might you're, be you're Tracy. Fine. <laughs> Might be Tracy's supply. <laughs> and they were gonna say that Tracy was stopped again, although it was close. And Scorton, just a sophomore and already a captain. Kaliak Manis, and Kaliak Manis is going to be near that line to gain. You see the helmet pop off of Jackson. Nine are championship teams. A lot of great quarterbacks, a lot of great pass rushes from Purdue. Kaliak Manis going to take a shot, fired toward the end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown. Elijah Spencer with a late score working on Alessandro. But then when you fast forward into the second half, it was the offense of Purdue that kept rolling and Minnesota really could not find the heat, the magic that they were creating in that first half. They were spreading the football around. Chris Ottman-Bell had that great catch and then just really didn't see him in the second half.